Hey, everybody. So, we're going to be going through Shinya's arc this stream, and I am not feeling the best, so I'm going to try and blitz through this as fast as possible. Um, and to show how I'm going to do that, <laughs> last between the last couple of streams, I did a lot of grinding. Um, I hit the soul cap at the bottom. Um, you cannot go higher than 999,999 ,999 soul, which kind of sucks. But... Everything is up to level 70 now, and I'm at level 75, so right off the bat we're going to get Shinya leveled up to catch up to that, and hopefully that's enough to get us through this with minimal trouble. Let's be kind to him. I like Shinya. He's it's a good fine. lad. I'm just glad you're safe. Um, if you have a moment, can we talk? Just the two of us? Sora's not in our office right now. We can go in there. I have something I want to ask you. Please? I won't take long. Yeah, let's go with him. Start his arc. Also, I'm going to apologize right now it. if there's a lot of background noise. It's raining really heavily out here. After you. Thanks for letting me have some of your time. It's a little hard to talk about this in front of the others. Um... I have a favor to ask. I want you to stop fighting. You've been pushing yourself too hard. I don't want to see you get hurt again. It's not like you wanted to be a pact bearer. You just got swept up in the anomalies. I'll take care of things from here on. So please, break your pact. Leave this all behind. You've done enough already. Ah, uh, yeah, let's ask him. I don't want to be too direct. I want to Nothing's see what he says. Nothing's been going right since all of this started. I've been doing some reflection. If only I'd taken down the pact bears faster. If only I weren't so weak. If only I defeated them all without a second thought. Then Chio wouldn't have had to die. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I know I can't be forgiven. And I know apologies won't solve anything. But I still have my responsibilities as a Jingu to fulfill. You shouldn't have to fight anymore. I want you to rest. To live in peace without any more pain. So let me know if you decide to break your pact. I'll put in a good word with Sora for you. <laughs> he doesn't wish for you to fight. Because it's his role. Because it's his right. It seems he's decided with firm resignation to torment his ego with self-flagellation. Well? It's clear that he wishes to fight on his own. To showcase how much he can handle alone. And yet, if you wish to be entangled in Shinya's fate, to know him and stand together with him, 
Then find your determination. Bring your ego to bear. The road of fate thins like a waning tide. There won't be much room to walk by your side. All right, Shinya, let's go. I don't know if you I saw Vanitas, but from... um, my ego stats are pretty high now. You're going to break your pact, right? Just leave everything else to me. Huh? Why not? That seems like the correct answer. <sighs> right. You formed that pact to protect Chio and the others. Once a pact bearer's ideals are shattered, you lose all memories related to their wish. In your case, you might forget about Chio entirely. But even so, you'll still have to give up your power at some point. I'm sorry. I can't expect you to make this decision so soon after what happened. Let me know what you decide once you've had some time to collect yourself. Oh, that was the wrong answer. Okay. I thought he'd understand that better and it would continue. I knew you... I'm going to be the one defeating the Pact Bearers. What do you need your power for? Is it because you can't trust me? Or... Is it because of your wish? Like all the other Pact Bearers? Oh, these are... These are almost the same thing, but the tone will be different. So you don't think I'm strong enough? Is that it? No, I want I'm to do it together. To some pact bearer show me up. It doesn't matter who I'm against. I won't hesitate. I can take them down myself without your help. Okay, now you're being like stubborn. Said, there's no need for you to fight. That was a tough one to do because the tone of it really decided it. Is my problem. All of it. If I were more capable. If I defeated the Pact Bearers earlier. Maybe Chio wouldn't have died. Maybe you wouldn't have had to become a Pact Bearer to begin with. It's all my fault. You're just a victim. Please. Leave the rest to me. I can handle it. Ah, shit. Too hard on himself. Huh? That's not it at all. I'm just stating the facts. I can't cause any more trouble for you than I already have. I can't. So please, just trust me. Oh my god, I'm making every wrong decision here. Why is this boy I being so stubborn?
Huh? Self-centered? Me? Out of my control? So what you're saying is that I'll never be good enough, no matter how hard I try. He reads into these statements a lot more differently than you it's say just them. like I thought. You think I'm a failure too. That I'm hopeless. That I can't accomplish anything. That counting on me is just a waste of time. These are not statements I made. Um. I'm sorry. For being so worthless, I mean. But even if I am, I don't want you to get hurt anymore. So please, tell me. What do I have to do? How can I get you to trust me on this? My problems are my own. I'm the one who should handle them. I don't want to trouble anyone else. That again? Whose problem is it then? Huh? Then in that case, if no one's to blame, then what should I have done? How could I have protected Chio? How could I have kept you from getting hurt? How could we have avoided all of this pain? What? That's... Just too cruel. That kind of thinking helps nobody. It's irrational. It isn't just. <sighs> I hate those words. <gasps> Unfair. Unjust, irrational, to hell with all of them! I don't want to tell myself that there's nothing we could have done. I don't want to believe that we're all just at the mercy of fate. I'm sick of making these excuses. You can say that Chio's death wasn't fair, that no one could have done anything about it. Then why bother fighting? Why don't you just brush it off and give up entirely? He makes a solid point. <laughs> if it really is unfair, if you really can't do anything about it, what else can you possibly do but give up? There's no logic to that. You're not making any sense. You just gotta prove your own... ...worth, sort of thing. Then what is? <sighs> your ego? Egos are just ugly, self-serving things. Using them to justify yourself is wrong. What? Oh, there's multiple. 
That's actually really cool. <laughs> Those are all things that needed to be said to him. Your ego. No. You, yourself, are strong and kind. You don't know when to give up. Logic can't make sense of the irrational. Once you accept that, you have to give up. <sighs> At least, that's how I used to think. But if the way you live doesn't need to make sense, then there's no reason to give up. I used to have problems with the concept of egos, and the selfish people who are so proud of theirs. But I don't dislike your ego, and I don't dislike you as a person either. On the contrary, I like you. I respect you a lot. If you say that your ego is part of who you are, then I want to respect that too. Your ego is too pure to resent anyone over something irrational. It's too strong to give up just because something's out of your control. And it's too kind to let me face these dangers alone. <laughs> I'd feel a lot better if you were by my side. And it makes me happy that you care about me so much. If there's an ego out there I'm willing to accept, it's yours. <laughs> the fruitless facade and the fragile failure. Frail attracts frail, it seems. Vanitas. You seek to thwart tragedy from transpiring twice, hmm? A noble desire, as far as they go. But how will you venture to make it so? The cause of Chio's death was a call from the other world. And the reason a call came in without any mist is because the distortions have gotten too severe. Bear in mind the distortions cannot be reversed. The barrier must lift so they can be dispersed. But getting rid of the barrier as is would just release the Pact Bearers and their authorities into the world. We need to remove the threats first. Kokoro and that maggot breath bastard need to give up their powers. And so do you, when all is said and God done. God damn, he really hates him. Really hates Starte. You'd willingly give up the power you've got? You're more deranged than I initially thought. But so be it. This is the path that you chose. Where it leads, nobody knows. Well, well. It's been some time. What happened to Miss Aikawa was truly unfortunate. Dr. Shiraneko told me you regained consciousness. I wanted to have a word with you. It would be rude of me to ask that of you so suddenly, though. Please come and see me when you have the time. Act two, Shinya Yuda, Black Bearer of Faith. All right, now the boring parts. Let's get Shinya up to speed. God, he's real low. Let's start with getting new things first. God, I... I might just turn down the volume of the game while this happens. Those, uh, those clicks get a little annoying. 
yeah, just, just let's just completely mute it. And, and enjoy the sweet nothingness. Actually, I know. I'll put something on in the background while this goes on. Um, I'm going to have to fix up all my sound settings real quick. All right, uh, let's find something good to listen to. God, I'm having trouble thinking of something. Uh, I know. Guilty Gear music always helps. Oh, it's a good choice. I'll say 1500 isn't that bad. Let's just put that up. Starting to hit the 2Ks. 2K is the lowest I should be um, worried about at the moment, so anything that's under that I can freely spend on. Oh, the top right one unlocks. Okay, we're up to the 2Ks. So anything under 3k I'll buy now. Actually how much? Okay that went to 7k. Okay, anything under 4k now will be bought. Okay, 5k is a new cap, and we're getting pretty close to catching him up. Let's bring him up to 75 like the protagonist. Uh, 76, sure, why not? Just get that one out of the way. Alright, Shinya's good to go. 
and goodbye, Guilty Gear music. You said that you didn't want me to face danger all alone, right? Thanks for that. But I'd hate for you to put yourself at risk for my sake. I don't want you to be hurt any more than you've already been. That's... <laughs> just the way my ego is, I guess. Alright, where to? Memory, I guess? Or the council room? Or do I have to talk to Shinya in that room? In the Dean's office? Yeah, that might be what we have to do. I think that's what we have to do with Ryotaro as well. Let's go knock that idiot down a peg. Okay, no. Wait, talks of Vanitas? <laughs> what is it? No. This map isn't as useful as I'd like. Let's see the personality test. You're at a concert when suddenly you're pulled up onto the stage, handed an instrument and forced to perform. Lo and behold, you managed to play beautifully. What instrument uh, were you given? I like guitar. This question lets us know what sort of career might suit you. Guitar stand out, making you the kind who might enjoy sales work. You're the diligent type, but you still know how to express your own opinions and have a backbone. I'm sure you could overcome any strict bosses or sales quotas uh, with a can-do attitude like that. As a completely wrong industry that I'm in. Where is this dude? Oh, hey, there's a bunch of people up here. Seriously, Banjo, what part of this is fun to you? Come on, how many times have you been trapped by a magic barrier before? First times are always a blast. Seeing Banjo so pumped up about this does kind of help me forget my anxiety. See? Now you're getting it. Come on, the three of us are making the most of this. Start it to finish. I knew that was a good idea. I was missing one of them. Let's let's go down to the infirmary then. You seem healthy. No, nothing here. Leave. I can't quick travel places anymore. Uh, 
I think these are a few new characters. No, doesn't seem like it. saying that this mysterious barrier is preventing anyone from leaving the academy. The very notion is absurd. I'll have to go and examine it for any possible avenues of escape. If you want a job done right, you have to do it yourself. down there. I'll talk to Shinya again. Maybe he'll point me in the right direction. Let's go knock that. Let's go knock. Oh! You said that you Sora was right there. To... My bad. going to begin by explaining the tragedy that befell Miss Aikawa. However... <laughs> it would seem you were already aware. That being the case, I believe you understand. Should we wish to avoid further tragedy, we cannot afford to overlook any pact bearer or authority that may pose a threat. I've already heard from Shinya. Seems you're birds of a feather. I'm glad you'll continue to flock together with us. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Shinya, I would like you two to seek out Mr. Date. And in the process, shatter his ideals. many times, but Mr. Date shows no intention of giving up his authority. That maggot breath bastard. Just what is he thinking? Would that he was understanding as Miss Sarugadai. Did Kokoro give up her authority? In a manner of speaking. There's no need to worry about her anymore. That's good. So it seems like when, it whenever we don't talk to Kokoro, she's just gonna lock herself up. Security. Now then, I apologize for rushing you, but could you take care of Mr. Date right away? We'd like to prevent more tragedies like Miss Aikawa's from occurring, so time is of the essence. Even after all the awful things that happened, he's pressing on like it's business as usual, ego and all. I can't forgive him for that. Let's go knock that idiot down a peg. Okay, now I go to the archives. Can I fast travel to it? I cannot. I don't like doing Sora's dirty work. Maggot Breath's mist should be around here somewhere. 
I tried looking for him on my own a while back. But I couldn't find him no matter where I searched, including here. I have no idea where he could be skulking. But he should show up if we start shattering his ideals. <sighs> that moron. Let's go. Everything from the second floor up is filled with mist. There shouldn't be too many unsettled around. Apparently, the maggot breath himself was scaring the students away. Okay, that's good. Not much of a path of resistance. Since this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Thanks, Vanitas. Let's, um, let's get rid of greed for Shinya. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go, Shinya! Now let's see how how dirty we can Together get with this fight. I can't lose. It's all mine. <laughs> I'll crush you all. Oh yeah, we can get dirty dirty. I won't lose. I'll do it. For you. Get it together. I can't lose. Go for it. Okay. Got you. Up oh, there goes Shinya. Ah, uh, this is being finicky. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. I don't think many of those are going to be very good. But it's good to know I can do my dirty strats now. Okay. So, free up from the door. And around the middle.
Oh, it's this room, the piano room, I'm guessing. Oops. The year the archives were completed. I think I might have that. Nineteen seventy nine, maybe? No. It, it's, no, these ones aren't the archives. It's these ones. Nineteen eighty two. Nineteen eighty two, I guess. Nope. Nineteen eighty five. I'm just gonna look it up. I do not care. Uh, archives. Nineteen seventy? Oh, the building itself, when that would have been completed. That makes sense. I was looking at the wrong things. There's no way to undo what's been done. This isn't something that can be forgiven. It's not even my right to hope for forgiveness. Because of that, I... And then he trails off. Okay, that's everything on this floor. his ideal. A gaudy crystal with a strong dose of narcissism. Much like him. Let's just get this over with and shatter it. Uh, yeah, I should be good to go with this one. Let's go, Shinya. Here I go. Together is one. I can't. I'll crush you all. God, this strategy is disgusting. I love it. Here you are. Got it. Got it. Ah, shit. I knew that was gonna happen. There, there is a 
there is a high chance I just crit myself and end this entire run. But it's still worth it not to actually engage with the game <laughs> and just rip through everything. There goes Shinya, but that's fine. Here you are. Of course. Get it together. Uh no, this should be fine. This is more than fine, actually. Together is one. Control the madness. My orders, my lord. Floor. For what I believe in. Go for it. As my lord commands. Oh, that didn't even crit. That was just way too much. The, um, the enlightenment buff absolutely destroyed that. Let's go, Shinya. To victory. One more try of this strat. If not, I'll just play the normal way. I can't lose. as a healer. Uh, I've got a revive though. Yes. Now, I'm going to do the party resonance. But this is purely to buff my party. Buff is going to absolutely destroy me. I can't lose. Go for it. Damn, too far. This should kill. Yeah, that's more than enough.
is something I have learned very quickly while grinding is that Lus is extremely powerful. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. Lust is my strongest soldier. It isn't enough. Be it power, knowledge, or anything else. I need to get stronger, but I don't have enough. The weak are meat, and the strong do eat. There are only those who take, and those who get taken from. I can't let anything else get taken from me. I have to protect everything that makes me who I am. This time, I have to be on the side that takes, so I can get back everything taken from me. I'll leave my weaknesses behind, even if it means stealing everything from those who steal from me. Past, present, and future. I'll get stronger. I'll prove the worth of the life my mom loved. I'll reclaim the dreams and the pride my gramps passed down to me. I can't afford to give up. Worth. Dreams. And pride. That's why he wants more power, even if it means stealing it from other people. I agree. It's an insatiable ego, just like its owner. It's selfish through and through, but almost stupidly sincere, too. Hmm. Still, if that's the case, if he truly doesn't want anything else stolen from him, and he wants to reclaim what was, then resisting us is the opposite of what he should do. That idiot. I just don't get what he's thinking. You said that I have to admit, I'm a little curious. How do you feel about that maggot breath bastard? You're going to be fighting him pretty soon. Do you hate him? Okay, thank God it gave me that as my one option. Right. Of course I you like Ryotaro. I like the entire you party in this game. You didn't blame anyone for what happened. But he's not going to give up his power. He's a selfish jerk who doesn't think about all the trouble he's causing everyone else. Doesn't that make you hate him even a little? How can you fight him if you don't hate him? He's our enemy, you know? That doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to hate your enemies, treasure your friends, and love your family. Isn't that the way it goes? Isn't that... Normal? Then... Loving your enemies, hurting your friends, and hating your family. That's... allowed? That's a little unreasonable, don't you think? Jinya's got a very narrow-minded viewpoint, but I get... 
I get why. He's kind of been right. um you're the kind of person who follows his repressed, ego. I guess. I'm trying to think of the na the word for it, but yeah, he was well, he was orphaned and now he's like sheltered him. by the yam. The way he thinks sheltered is and selfish, coddled by and the Jingu family. That rub people the wrong way. He irritates me in more ways than one. Even now, he refuses to give up his authority. There's no excuse for that. He clings to power to save his own skin. I can't stand it. I'll take his power away, even if I have to shatter his ideals and fight him for it. But... I don't think this is the same as hating him. I... That idiot. That stupid jerk. Even though he's a pact bearer, we have to defeat. I just can't bring myself to hate him. I feel guilty about it. Like what we're doing is wrong. He's our enemy. We shouldn't go easy on him. Or get along with him. You don't hate anybody, huh? Not even your enemies. You've got a pretty open mind. I just said that a little earlier. <laughs> Maybe things would be easier if I were a bit more accepting. Like you. <laughs> but I don't think I'm quite there yet. Anyway. We should head for the next ideal. It's going to be a little hard to fight that maggot breath, since I don't actually hate him. Still, he definitely annoys me at the very least. I'm looking forward to smacking that stupid smirk off his face. No, not Sora. Okay. Do we just go back to the archives now? Yeah, we do. Bank fuck. Oh, actually. Oh, lust is bad. Okay, let's go to the infirmary. Now we can continue the dungeon. Oh, there are people up here now. Dr. Kakeru, Chiyo, to think their lives would be so cruelly claimed. But as long as I'm with you, Shoma, nothing else could possibly matter. Would you embrace me, Shoma, if I were to die? Of course, Nana, I'll hold you as tight as I could. Really? Until I breathe my very last? Yes, and then I would do the same with you in my arms. Oh, Shoma, I could ask for nothing more. There should be a somber affair, no matter the victim, and yet I feel nothing. This is I suspected. My brain has dulled, my emotions are dead. It may not be paranormal, but it's certainly not normal. People are saying that Chiyo Aikawa is dead. Someone that popular and beloved is gone, then what right does a wishy-washy loner like me have to be alive? God damn, that's a dour outlook. It seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Thanks, Benitas. I'll do this round proper. I I won't risk just killing myself. So 
though I do want those sweet, sweet party buffs. Do a attack buff. I guess this is the only one I can do for now. So good. Here I go. I can't it's all mine. Rise. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah, that'll that'll help. I'll crush you all. Let's let's send him I along with her. Got it. I can't lose. I can end this. Yeah. Okay, let's just end it. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. I really do like not having to worry about anything now. This game was a little mean-spirited for a while. In front of the storage room. The year the old dormitory was completed. What I wanted wasn't to steal people's lives, but their Rigataro.
This is safe. This one is 1942. I should maybe go and heal instead of continuing. I want Lust to have a good chunk of ma uh, a good chunk of um, leeway for her skills. You see, you should be make sure you do. Oh cool, it brought me right here. Right. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if there's anything else to pick up or any notes of value. Nope. Get breath, bastard. He isn't here. Not that I expected him to be. If demons like you didn't exist, it never would have come to this. though. You don't irritate me at all. The only thing I feel for you is hate. Come on, let's deal with these things already. This poor dude right here. Together is one. I can't look. I'll crush you all. I should have buffed a little bit. That's fine. She'll come to finish the job. do anything with anyone ever when I can just blow everything up with lust.
I guess I'll do that. How far is my party resonance gonna reach? Yeah, if I start moving everyone up, it's going to reach. I can't lose. It's all mine. <laughs> You're dead. I'll crush you all. Yeah, that'll reach everyone. Together as one. It's all mine. Worthless. Step out. Right. Detestable. <laughs> This should help a little bit. This should be good. Oh! Oh right, transfer pain was a thing that was on. God, I hate that ability so much. And now I've broken apart the party. that though I think yeah this guy's the one with the um revive yep Get it She can eat a little bit of damage. Not yet. Yet. 
a attack should be what kills it. No, no, that won't. Let's do up in flames then. That works. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. I'm as weak and pathetic as I ever was. I can't protect a single thing I care about. That's why I have to get stronger. Strong enough that no one can ever steal from me again. Strong enough to take my dreams back and my pride along with it. The world thrives on the law of the jungle. It's cruel and uncaring, but that's the way it goes. I can't stand the thought of being taken advantage of by those who look down on me. I hate the idea of being scorned, of growing old, unaccomplished and unfulfilled. I don't want to live a meaningless life. I don't want to die a meaningless death. I'll make my mark and prove my worth. I'll prove that everything that makes up Rio Taro Date has meaning and value. The things that I love, the things that I loved, the people who loved me. I may be weak now, but I won't be weak forever. I'm surprised that he considers himself weak. Was his attitude just a front all this time? Don't tell me he was forcing himself. How lame can you be? Wishing for more power so he can prove his worth is exactly what I'd expect of him. What an ego on that guy. Even his thoughts are annoying. I know what it's like to want to be stronger, but that's where our similarities end. He still believes in himself, whereas I've given up. <laughs> the people he cherished were stolen from him. The ones I cherished tossed me aside. We're so obviously different. And he really does irritate me. And yet... Somehow... You said that you... <sighs> oh, hey. Sorry, I was just doing some thinking. That maggot breath bastard. Just the thought of him pisses me off. But at the same time, I... Uh, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. It's embarrassing anyway. So, back to the archives, I guess? Yeah, back to the archives. But first, a visit to the doctor. More people. Hey, Mayumi? Where's it, Naomi? 
You and me, we're twinsies for life and nothing's ever gonna change that. You're right, how could I ever forget? Thanks, Naomi, I needed to hear that. I heard that Chiyo Kaiwa has passed. You have my sincerest condolences. linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Thanks, Benitas. Uh, this seems like a pain... Uh, not a painful, but an annoying map. Bitches. I can't lose. It's all I'll crush you all. Together is one. It's all I'll crush you all. Athletic rage. Rise. I can't lose. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Why is that gotta be annoying? That works, I guess. Sending this map.
Some students managed to get in here. Maybe they've got an eye for arts. There is a pretty discerning too, but not exactly in the same way. Following me? Let's try to keep it down, Mr. VP. Okay, more walking. I'm going to explore a little bit first and then I'll heal. Counter in front of the entrance. Time to sell this, no way around it. Okay, so that's the call. Let's just go for a little bit more of an exploration round. And a heal round. Okay, can't go. Don't that push way. yourself too hard. I need to have a clear mind so I can new Korea Taro and his uh, um his uh, Make sure you don't demon, basically. <laughs> I forgot the names that they use in this game. There's the boy. I've been expecting you, Mr. VP. Can't say the same for you, though. <sighs> what, the Dean ain't coming? There's no need for Sora to bother. We are more than enough to handle you. Oh, yeah? You sure seem confident about that. Mr. VP backing you up's making you feel real brave, huh? Yes. Hmm. You've changed. 
It's no fun messing with you anymore. Well, you haven't changed at all. Why won't you give up your power? You know what's happening with the distortions. Why are you putting the Academy in even more danger? Shouldn't you be asking the Dean that? It's her authority that's cutting us off from the outside world. She's the one bottling the distortions up in here. She did it to protect the rest of the world from them. Yeah, but she's a pack bearer too. Isn't she one of the reasons why they even exist in the first place? Without her power, the damage would be so much worse. She's only doing it to protect the Academy and the world from the Pact Bearers. From the Pact Bearers, right. What, you think I plan on destroying the world or something? Not for now, at least. For now, huh? If that's your argument, can't you say the same thing about the Dean? Grinds my gears that you're acting like she's the one exception. I understand that you don't like her. But why are you so fixated on keeping her powers? You're seriously asking me that after all this? You should already know by now. You've been running around, shattering my ideals. My reasons aren't anything special. I just want to get stronger. I want to kick my old man, my big bro, and their money-grubbing buddies down a notch. Those guys piss the hell out of me. I do what I want, how I want, and no one's gonna stop me from accomplishing my goals. That's all there is to it. If I don't do it, nobody will. I won't give in. Not as long as my name is Rio Taro Date. That's my ego, and I ain't changing it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Still. I don't understand why someone as confident as you wants an authority. Why can't you realize you don't need one? Huh? Sure, someone gave me this power, but it's still mine. What's wrong with me using it? Besides, if my ideals shatter, my soul does too. Same goes for this wish. The stuff I live my life by. Even if that's true, don't you feel guilty about using it? It'll make the distortions worse. What happened to Chio wouldn't be a one-time occurrence. Nope. That's not my problem to deal with. The fact that you're here trying to stop me right now is proof of that. <sighs> I'll admit, your reasoning checks out. You mean... Nope. I'm still not gonna give in. If we can't see eye to eye, we gotta see whose convictions are stronger. Through a fight. Don't come crying to me after we wipe the floor with you. <laughs> if that's how it ends up, then my convictions were too weak. I don't have a problem with that. Do you? <sighs> Earlier, I said you hadn't changed at all. But I take it back. You have changed. You're weaker now. What? Where's your confidence? Your will to fight? The way you're talking, it sounds like... Like you want to lose to us. Like you want us to stop you. You gotta be shitting me.
I'd never lose. Not to you, not to the Dean, and sure as hell not to whatever jacked up system this world runs on. I can't afford to. I'm the only one who can protect what matters most to me. My ego is mine alone. And I'm not gonna stand for anyone getting their hands on my stuff. We're gonna be the ones doing the taking. Right, Gula? Oh, this song is great. Enough with the chit chat. I just right off the bat that song banged. Oh no. Okay, this is this is fine. Blood and evil me, pride, lust, and wrath over there. Yeah, that seems fine. No, let's start with another character first. Ah, oh, that doesn't reach. That does so. Yeah, let's get another uh, fever in there. I wonder what's causing that. She'll be fine.
I can't all. Use a stabilizer on her, actually. I'll crush you all. I won't back down. Oh no, that's bad. Don't bother. Don't bother. Oh, thank God. Well, one slice is the one I want. Yeah, that works. No, it just doesn't what regular snap can do. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot to wait. No, he should be close enough. Yeah, he is. Together as one. I can't look I'll crush you all. Yeah, that's very good. How much does this do? 12%. Had a good resolve thing. Mm. 
An enemy's mad gauge? I guess that makes sense, actually. I think that was a good call. Still pretty high. Right, sacrificial lamb, go. This should be good, though. Not really. I won't 
Okay, I had a good strategy going into that. I just need to work on it better. That's what I like to see. Slash from back here. Not really. Might be bad. Okay, they suck. None of those are going to reach. Awaiting orders. Maybe this clip will no. I guess a heel turn doesn't matter. Can't 
cure is yours. Uh, yeah, let's do one more. There should be enough turns for me to make this work. No, I want to wait a little bit. Yeah, that works perfectly, I think. Yeah, great. I knew that's what I needed to do. Selfishness, your unfound confidence, your devil may care attitude. You irritate me in more ways than I can count. <clears throat> I want to get stronger too. We're the same in that respect. But the people you loved most were taken from you, while I was thrown away by the people I loved. 
You believed in yourself, while I gave up on myself. You're almost nothing alike. Your ego is strong and optimistic. I always envied you for it. But looking at you right now, there's nothing to be jealous of anymore. It's like you're suffocating. All I see from you is suffering. <laughs> you feel guilty, don't you? About what happened to Chio. You can't admit it. But you can't lie to yourself, either. So that's what you think, huh? <laughs> Makes me sound pathetic. Even if I admitted it, nothing would change. Sometimes, what gets taken from you is gone for good. The dead stay dead. Forgiveness, atonement. I don't deserve any of it. Not after what I've done. So that's what you think, huh? It's not like you to give up so easily. <laughs> yeah, it sure isn't. So, while I'm being out of character, if you're so jealous, why don't you try being more honest with yourself? You're the closest friend you've got. You gotta learn to love yourself. <laughs> you might be a shit-eating little roach, but that doesn't make you worthless. Dubrovnik, Chesky Krumlov, Santa Fe, Hoi An, Lijiang. Vibrant, brilliant cities filled with beauty beyond compare. I flew around the world, basking in their indescribable majesty. As my heart was stolen time and time again, I thought I finally understood the words Gramps said to me. Grow stronger so you can protect what matters most to you. Leave a monument of your existence, so you can steal people's hearts, not their lives. An earthquake hit, and Mom died. She was crushed by a collapsing building. Her life was stolen before my very eyes. I admired that which stole the hearts of others. I wanted to leave my mark on the world. The building wasn't strong enough, and neither was I. Even now, my wounds are still fresh. The grief of having something stolen from me. The awe of it being taken to begin with. I hate feeling powerless. I don't want anything to be taken from me any longer. So I swore that I'd grow stronger. Yeah, I'm understanding why they, why it was suggested to do Ryotaro's first. We're looping a lot of his character developments, but without going through his actual character developments behind something so grand it would steal people's hearts <sighs> unbelievable what an ego on that guy it's so bright and garish i'm almost jealous
Thanks for bringing Rio Taro all the way over here, you two. Just when Kurama and the others get better, a new one comes rolling in. Don't worry too much. I don't know what's ailing him, but if it's the same as the others, all he needs is a little rest. He might suffer a bit of memory loss, though. Thanks, Dr. Nako. But knowing this guy... He'll be himself again eventually, even if he does lose some of his memories. He's not the kind of person who would go out with a whimper. <laughs> you like Ryotaro a lot more than you want to admit, don't you? <sighs> not on your life. Now that I think about it, where's Kokoro? Is she not here? Kokoro? I haven't seen her. I... see. Oh, right. Miss Sora was looking for you two. She said there was something she wanted to discuss with you in her office. Oh. I is there any healing up I need to do? No, everyone's fine. I wonder if Sora's gonna go crazy this route. And if Yoru's gonna come out. Shinya, thank you both for your hard work. And for taking care of Mr. Date. I'm glad to see you managed to resolve things without incident. Yes, no lives were lost after all. There's a Seems all like we're going to loop here. it. Three reasons, actually. To give my thanks, to offer my apologies, and to provide a learning experience. I start with Banks. We might just loop through all three of these. You've defeated each of the Pact Bearers for me, after all. Of the seven Pact Bearers initially confirmed when the anomalies began, every one has now been defeated. Were it not for your help, this would have taken much longer to resolve. I might have had to take more drastic action. You have my sincerest thanks for saving our academy from the Pact Bearers, as well as the Anomalies. That being said, one Pact Bearer yet remains. I'm talking about you. Yep, we're just going into her heel turn again. Sora! Is something the matter, Shinya? What are you going to do to him? I'm surprised you even have to ask. The same thing we do to all Pact Bearers, of course. They must be dealt with appropriately. Dealt with? But... He's always had the Academy's best interests in mind. He's been fighting the distortions and other pack bearers this whole time. If you need him to break his pact and give up his powers, there has to be a peaceful way to do it. <laughs> I find this quite regrettable myself, you know. There's simply nothing else to be done. His very existence cannot be permitted. We have no other recourse but to erase him from the world. Uh. Did 
Doesn't you find it odd? Oh, she's just jumping straight to the twist we found down Briataro's no one. Associated with you. Even my pact has a corresponding mist. I utilized every means at my disposal to search every inch of space within the barrier. Using even the slightest degree of one's power within the campus should result in mist. And yet, your power has not affected any area of the academy. I think I did shatter my ideals myself last time, so let's do this one. Just to see something different. You're a good person, so I'm sure you try to keep that promise. But what if you saw someone you loved in danger? What if your own life was at risk? People's hearts can change. I can't afford to make an exception by trusting you. Miss Aikawa lost her life because of the distortions. They never would have intensified the way they did if it weren't for the authorities. You, of all people, should know full well the potential dangers of an existence like yours. You are a threat who mustn't be allowed to exist. You must be eliminated, here and now. It truly is a pity to lose someone so noble. Bear with me. I hope you understand my decision. At the very least, I will erase you as painlessly as I can manage. Don't worry. It will be as if you never existed at all. Everyone will forget you. No one will need to mourn your death. No one will feel the agony of losing you, like the way you did for Miss Aikawa when she died. Now please, be at ease and go in peace. <sighs> You're joking. Right, Sora? Shinya? You're going to need to learn to accustom yourself to such things. This is one of the duties of the Jingu family, harsh as it may seem. They are pact bearers, the seeds of disaster. The power they possess should not exist in this world. That can't be. You're a pact bearer too, aren't you? And? He isn't the kind of person that would use his powers for his own gain! Can't he be an exception like you too? He and I are nothing alike. I am the one and only exception. Bitch! As such, I cannot permit it. What? <sighs> Sora? Things didn't work out this time either, it seems. How unfortunate. It would appear the excitement is just too much for you, Shinya. We'll just have you forget this once more. We can always try again later on. You're a prospective head of the Jingu family, after all. We'll have you learn step by step. Sora! What are you saying? There's no need to be afraid, Shinya. All of this is for your own good. Now then. I bid you farewell. Allow me to conclude by offering my sincerest gratitude for what you've done. And with that... Let us celebrate our births. What did I... My word. Sora. Shinya. What on earth is going on? 
What are you doing here? That force field. Just what are you trying to do? Why would you use your authority on a student? Wait, your authority? He's remembering again. Remember, you do not need to remember. You go. It's all right. All I did was make it so his memories of this moment never existed. What is Hugo doing here? I made certain he wouldn't come. <laughs> well, you see, I was the one who asked him to. S Sora? Sora? <laughs> no. It's been a while since I met you in this form, hasn't it? You know who I am, though, of course. Yeah, we've been through this before. I should be more confident with that, Yoru. <laughs> That's exactly right. It feels good to finally be myself for once. Yoru? That's right, Shinya. This is the first time you're meeting the real me, isn't it? I was pretending to be Sora each and every time we met. What the heck are you? <laughs> You want to know? You really, really want to know? Uh. Good morning, Sora. You would like to know as well, yes? Who I really am? I am another Sora, subconsciously created by Sora, or at least, that's what I was. I was born so that she wouldn't be destroyed by contradictions and chaos. I was born so that I could shoulder the burden of her pain. Are you... an alter ego? Correct! 
With the chaos the Pact Bearers created, the strife within Sora's soul only grew. In encountering others' powers and using her own, she began to realize that she herself was distorted. As a result, I myself have become so terribly powerful. But not quite as much as I'd like. My power is far from perfect. Sora has yet to be assimilated, after all. In order to do so... I need to break her even further. To obliterate everything that makes her who she is. Oh god damn, she was conscious this time for it. Huh? Unbelievable. I was only intending to kill Yugo. To think so. Oh shit, she killed both of them this time. to chat about so many favors I wanted to ask of you but everything went so swimmingly that you're no longer useful to me which means there's no more point in me keeping you around so go on do as you like I'll be absorbing Sora's power though so it'll only be a matter of time before I break this barrier I won't let this go. You killed Sora and Yuko, so I'm gonna kill you! Stop trying to run and face me! Such a brave little man, and so adorable. For bravado is over, boy. I'm going to absorb Sora's ideals. Now that I don't have to deal with those pests griping about the distortions, I'm finally free. I have so much to do. So many things I want to use my power for. So much fun to be had. I'll kill you! You hear me? <laughs> Things will certainly be more dreary and drab now that Sora's gone. So I'll be around, waiting with bated breath for you to kill me. If you can, that is. Don't let me down, hmm? Ta-ta! Of course he's not all right. Yuko, Sora, 
I was right here, but I... I still couldn't protect them. <sighs> no matter what happens, I won't let her get away with this. I'm going to kill her. I have to. I... I know. You should come with me to fight her. She killed Sora and Yugo. She's despicable. Unforgivable. Dangerous! Yeah, that's right. She's dangerous. We can't just leave her unchecked. She's using Sora's power like it's just a game to her. We can't let her do that. She can't be allowed to roam free in the outside world. Please, help me kill her. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go track that monster down. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yoru, you see, is a being born from Sora. Shatter her ideals and end the horror. Vanitas. Where have you been skulking? Were you just eavesdropping this whole time? She killed Sora and Yugo. How could you just stand by and let it happen? <laughs> I can't say I know what it is you expected. I make it a point to remain disconnected. Demon bastard. We need to hurry and shatter Sora's ideals. This is the key to the main building's basement. There's a basement in every year's building. Even Yugo and I weren't allowed to access them. Sora never confirmed this with me, but that's probably where her mist is. There's no more time left to waste. I need to kill Yoru as soon as possible. Act 2! Shinya Yuda! Unhinged Darkness! It's a bit late. I'm the closest friend I've got, huh? Sorry about that. I was just thinking about what Ryotaro said. Sora and Yugo were always important to me. <sighs> and even then, I wasn't able to protect them. How can I possibly love myself knowing that? Gehehe. <laughs> It appears your mind is in the midst of musing. Spirit for your thoughts? Uh, I think I did with uh, my ideals last time, so let's do I want to void my packs. Packed? Yours? <laughs> How amusingly, affably adorable. But come now, kid. Be reasonable. You're asking for the unfeasible. Just what in the world are you thinking? I doubt you have even an inkling. Now quit quibbling. Okay, let's head to the basements. Seems like we're just going to go into the same sort of loop we were in before.
Which means there should only be one more the fight if I'm remembering right. Down here. Let's go. Was it one more or was it two more? There's no mist. I could have sworn it was supposed to be here. Damn it. This ended up being a huge waste of time. <laughs> a mist mark, but merely minutely. Methinks the mist meandered about here mere moments ago. Perhaps the ideal was shattered asunder. Or was it combined with another, I wonder? Combined? Yoru did say something like that, didn't she? She wanted to focus on absorbing Sora's ideals. <laughs> Ideals are the source of one's powers. She'll only get stronger the more she devours. If what we're assuming is truly the case, that's one less ideal around in this place. Which means if you shatter the two that remain, the goal that you seek will be yours to obtain. In other words, it's less work for us. Let's head to the first year building. There's a basement there too. Second year building. Oh. First year building. This place is misted the fuck up. Mist? This might be the same as how it was at the old dormitory. It must be overflowing from a different location. Let's make our way to the basement. Quick. Come. Off to the library. Huh? The library? But why? Who hangs out at the library? There's mist coming from underneath the door. Looks like we were right about this basement. Let's shatter that ideal for sure this time. It seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? I've, I think I've done Woe before, haven't I? Yeah, I have, but this is a different one. 494, 923. Okay, they change up the recipes of Woes per character. God, I do not like this layout. I'll crush you. It's all mine. It's all 
mine. Together as one, it's all I'll crush you all. Oh wait, his is actually an art. Heart and soul, it's all mine. Not it's yet. I was hoping that would hit, honestly. Oh, well, not hit, kill. Get I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. Let's go for a hill run. Do you have anything new to say? I feel as though I've forgotten something very important. As though there's a gaping hole in my heart. I sense that I've lost something, but what?
You should be. Make sure you. Right, back to the first year building. Is that Sora's ideal? It's pitch black, and there's this unsettling aura coming from it. Like... <laughs> Astutely and accurately assumed. Vanitas! Invading these ideals is indubitably what instigated her growth. In any case, there is no need to be bleak. For still, this ideal is where Yoru's weak. She corrupted Sora's ideals? Now she's gone too far. Don't get in my way. I don't have any time to waste. That's right, it was two battles because last possible. time we had to fight Shinya. I'm feeling dirty. Together as one. I can't I'll crush you all. <laughs> You're dead. Out of my sight. I won't I'll do it for you. Get it to you. What's... 1047? His is honestly the weakest. Oh, these two are just close to the same. It's all mine. I'm gonna go for a weaker one. I don't want to, um... It's don't want to risk anything. Was working though. I'm gonna do it again. Let's go, Shinya. Here I go. Together is one. I can't lose. How's this? It's all. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. Everyone being awakened makes this worse. Actually, let's see stat buffs increase. Oh yeah, she goes up to 2k thanks to that. No For what I believe in. You've got this. Understood. What do you mean they survived? I'll do it for you. For my oh my please. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. to see you, to make you happy for the rest of your days. I swore to protect you, even at the cost of my life. But then one day you suddenly collapsed and passed away. You loved clumsy, pathetic old me until the very end. Even though the nature of this world means that we can never meet again, I still want to see you one last time. Because I love you. Are these... Yoru's thoughts? It doesn't feel like her. It almost sounds like... <sighs> Maybe the ideal got messed up when she corrupted it. Let's find the next ideal so we can shatter that one too. We have to kill her. The sooner the better. After all, we can't let any dangerous threats go unchecked. Hey, if I manage to kill Yoru, do you think Sora and Yugo will forgive me? Even just a little? I wasn't able to protect them. I was so... useless. I couldn't help them at all. They took such good care of me, but I'm still the same worthless piece of shit I've always been. <laughs> you give me way too much credit, and you're not the only one. I am a piece of shit. I always have been. Even my birth parents gave up on me. Yugo adopted me after they kicked me out. Because I'm a failure of a child. I never kept my promises. I was always causing trouble. I was a failure who couldn't be fixed, no matter how many times I was warned, beaten, or punished. I'd make the same mistakes over and over. My mom was always so angry with me. The neighbors thought I was being abused because of all the crying and yelling.
Who can say? Either way, they reported us to child services. Mom only got worse after that. Being accused of child abuse drove her to the brink. You know what she told me? Get out of here. I'm begging you. Don't make me suffer anymore. If you care about me, you'll leave. Then she handed me the phone. One by one, I asked my relatives if they would take custody of me. I called them, just like my mom asked me to. God, what a piece my of shit! Parents, my aunts. His entire family's uncles. trash. Here I was putting them on the spot with our family drama. Some of them even got mad. It wasn't fun for any of us. In the end, it was only natural that none of them offered to take me in. They didn't think I was necessary. Except for one person. Only Hugo agreed right away. He said he'd be happy to take me in. I called him out of nowhere, and he barely even knew me. But not long after that, I went to live with Sora and Hugo. It's not as awful as it sounds. It's actually a happy story about being taken in. I understand why my parents kicked me out. I wasn't able to do what my mom expected of me. I was bad at everything. School, chores, manners. I couldn't even hold my chopsticks right. She always got so mad at how clumsy I was with them. I'm the kind of person even a mother can't love. Just another worthless pile of crap. I don't look or act like my dad at all. I'm the complete opposite. Boring and sad. The sort of face even a father can't stand to see. I'm a failure is all. I was the one at fault. You're wrong. No, they weren't. They had their reasons. You see... If I wasn't the way I am... If I had just been a better kid... Maybe they would have actually wanted me. Are you trying to say that no matter who I was or how I acted, my parents wouldn't have loved me anyway? That it was just unfair? That it was irrational? That I couldn't have done anything about it? I did. Is that wrong? Is there something strange about it? Of course I want them to love me. Obviously, I'd want to believe there's some way they could have loved me, right? What's so wrong about a child wanting to be loved by their parents? Even then, no matter how much it hurts, or how sad it gets, I know it doesn't sound logical, but they're still my parents! Even if you call it abuse, I'm sure they did what they did out of love. Huh? 
<sighs> That's not... Worthless sack of shit. I don't have the right to. What? Yuko, and Sora, and... <sighs> I love these back-to-back -back dialogue sequences for Shinya. He needs it bash into his head. <laughs> Do you really think that? <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're the first person who's ever been this upfront with me. I... I always wanted someone to tell me that. Like my mom and my dad. You know, I don't think I ever liked my parents. I might have even hated them. I wanted to ask them. Why did you give birth to me? Why did you kick me out? Why didn't you love me? I hate them. That much is true. But the more I hate them, the more I admit that they never loved me. The more I feel like I never should have been born. I was so pathetic. I could hardly stand it. I just... I just wanted to be loved. I'm sorry. I'm just making you uncomfortable, aren't I? <sighs> hey, thank you for telling me I'm special. I don't think I can forgive myself for what happened just yet. But I feel a little better now. I really like that scene a lot. Perfectly prepared. I like diving deep into the characters' backstories. How pleasantly promising. Steal your and Shinya for sure hits up. deep. Mist? But there shouldn't be any mist in the basement of the main building. Someone is using their powers like mad. Whoever it is must be one deranged cad. <laughs> it's like this all around the academy. <laughs> Yoro.
Next Everyone's year, reacting. I will be in the student council. Wait, that's impossible. I'm graduating. Me in the student council? But why? Second year, okay. The mist is especially dense here. The basement in this building must be connected to where the last ideal is. Let's hurry this up. We can't afford to let Yoru live any longer than we already have. She's far too dangerous. Taro Date. I haven't seen him in quite some time. I should pay him a visit. I must make haste. He's waiting for me. Yeah, this mist has got everyone nuts. It is a lot more interesting than um than just erasing everyone. This is the last one. Hey, it's me again. Isn't that you? <sighs> I was wondering what she was using her authority for. Damn it. How long is she going to keep making a mockery of people like this? Don't let these pale limitations get to you. I'll make her pay for this. Seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Thank you, Vanitas. I'm just gonna push as far as I can. Together is one. I can't lose. How's this? It's all crushed. <laughs> You're dead. Kick the bucket. I'll crush you all. Another. It's all 
Okay, he's strong enough to do that. What about you? Oh yeah, you're definitely strong enough for it, I remember. I should be able to hit with this one. I'll crush you all. I leave it to you. Yep. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. Which one is this one? It's either 1000. Okay, so. Oh, wait, no, it's the second year building. Uh, 0777. No, then 0556. That's the one. I was looking at the wrong notes. Did I take a wrong turn? Oh, I gotta go further down, that's why. 
I did take a wrong turn. Okay, so it is free fights. Ah, oh, shit. Or is it? No, there's Yoru. <laughs> the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. There is no bottom to the abyss of despair. What a pitiful little child. Pathetic and absurd in every way. Hopeless and irredeemable. This is the other world, where the last ideal is. Good evening. Yoru! <laughs> you must really want my attention if you chased me all the way here. What tenacity. Well done. What did you expect? You killed Sora and Yugo. You're a danger to the Academy. You use your authority however you want, flooding the campus with mist. I'll avenge Yugo and Sora, and I won't let what happened to Chio happen again. I'll kill you. Right here, right now. <laughs> How very valiant of you, Shinya. But tell me, if you're trying to prevent more deaths like Chios and get revenge for Sora and Yugo, then what would you do if I said I was able to resurrect all three of them? Hmm? Huh? It would be as if those tragedies never occurred. You would have no reason for revenge. What would you do if that were the case? Shut up already! You're just talking nonsense now. The dead can't come back! Your sins aren't going to just disappear! You'd be correct. Were we still in the realm of common sense? But consider a far-fetched goal. Curing an incurable illness, for example. Reality can't be changed, no matter how hard you wish. Except, what if it could? If such a power existed, could you resist its allure? Could you stop yourself from using it? Even if its use created distortions in the fabric of the universe? If it was the power of demons? What are you saying? I possess the power of esokinesis. The ability to manipulate existence. Just like Sora did. I can easily recreate anything I'm familiar with. Like this. Watch. Can't be. Sora? Yuko? We 
We're so sorry for worrying you. Everything's all right now. I'm so happy we get to see you again, Jinya. <laughs> no, they're they're way off. I don't believe it. Is it really you? Is that you? Thank goodness. I was so scared for so long. I was being chased by demons in the other world. It was so dark. It hurt so much. <laughs> I kept calling out for you. I cried. And cried. Why? Why didn't you save me? Give me the option to call it all out. It's also fake. Thanks. Come give me a hug. It's been forever. We're so sorry for worrying you, Shinya. Come here, Shinya. You are our beloved son. Hugo! Sora! I thought I'd never be able to see you again. The people who took me in. The new family I found. I thought I'd lost you again. All because I was too weak was so painful. I was so upset. I'm so, so sorry. Sora? You go? Where did you go? Desperately enraptured by this farce. I ended up getting distracted. You should have seen your faces. What are you talking about? It's your fault for making me laugh, you know. You broke my concentration. I couldn't get a handle on my authority. Where did you go and Sora go? <laughs> Come now, Shinya. Are you still trying to make me laugh? Yugo and Sora died right before your eyes. Remember? It was so gruesome and gory. How could you ever forget? You said it yourself. The dead can't come back. Not even an authority can do that much. You! 
I'm gonna try and nuke her. Sure. I can create a temporary body with my power, but I can't recreate the soul. I think she deserves a purgatorial alone, flame least. treatment. But I tried my best to emulate them, putting as much life into those facsimiles as I could. <laughs> Pretty impressive performance, though, don't you think? You're going to pay for that with your life! Ooh, sounds like you were quite impressed indeed. What about you? What did you think? Weren't you glad to see Chio? Even if it was just a hollow shell in the shape of her. Aww. But I did my best just for you. Don't you appreciate it even a little? I just wanted to respect her memory. After all, she cried out for you just before she died. The one I created may have been an empty husk, but I'm sure she was overjoyed to see her beloved brother again. Oh, you didn't get the memo? I could have sworn I told you. was the one who killed Chio. <gasps> but I, I love that blank stare on that the revelation. Dragged her into the other world. <sighs> Idiots. Every one of you. Sora included. Don't you think the circumstances behind her death were just a little too convenient? I lured her out and pulled her into the other world. And then... Well, you know... Of course. I really did. You see, she was beginning to realize the truth about you. Curious, are you? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to stay that way. That confused, anxious expression on your face is just too good to pass up. Ah. But, I will tell you why I decided to make her suffer and die. She was always sticking by you, practically joined at the hip. It always did irk me. I certainly did. Her cries were so shrill and pained, I almost couldn't stand to hear it. A terrible farce from start to finish. Hi. What's the matter? Aw, 
were you so happy to reunite with your dear sister that it rendered you speechless? Would you like me to recreate her once more? Oh, this is good. You... You bastard. I'll kill you! <laughs> oh my. Look at how wondrously your ego has blossomed. Ah, seeing your child grow is a joyous occasion for any parent. But, now that Sora is dead, you are no longer useful to me. This little nightmare won't last long. That's pretty cool. The entire party's together, she's getting nuked. Yes, it is. Let's go, Shinya. Here I go. Together as one. I can't lose. Ah, oh, this will be a big nuke. I'm Oops. Worthless. Maybe not that big. God damn it. That's better. I'll do it for you. Commands. 
Get it Awaiting for one advance. Clear out. I'll give it my all. How's this? Okay, I gotta go all the way over there now. Not yet. It's all mine. <laughs> You're dead. At your command, my lord. My lord. Here I go. I can't lose. I guess I should have been moving forward. Yeah, if they spawn from that lose. gate, I can probably hit them from this side. I can't lose. Never mind. It's all mine. <laughs> You're dead. I'll crush you all. To victory. Poor Lust, she's being left to the dust. My strongest soldier.
can't lose. It's all mine. Worthless. Everyone's trying to make it. I'll crush you all. It's all I'll crush you all. To victory. It's all mine. I'm stuck. I can't lose. She needs to be a bit further up. There we go. Here I go. It's all mine. I'm stuck. Advancing to victory. Together as one. I can't lose. How's this? It's all mine. Worthless. Step out. I'm losing it. Out of my sight. Ah, almost. We go. Proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. Impossible. I... I lost? I was finally... born!
It once served as a path to the other world, and the true deity who resided there. That deity now slumbers, its divided spirit serving as paltry imitations. Its existence remains perpetually hidden. Even her clan have forgotten its true form. However, should the Nine Split Spirits come together as one, should the Ninth Spirit, the wielder of the final key, come into being, only then may the gate be opened. Only then will the deity be roused from slumber. This time, I will bring her back, smiling face and all, the real her. Not this imposter. <sighs> what? What a terrible farce this all is. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, we are the same as those other three. You should never have existed. You're a facsimile too, you see. Not even human. And that means that if I disappear, you will vanish with me. Sora is dead. Your reason for being has been fulfilled, little tool. You'll be gone in due time, no matter what. As for you, Shinya, consider yourself lucky. You'll have one less danger to worry about. Lucky? How is this lucky? <laughs> Isn't it, though? You can't let any dangerous threats go unchecked. Isn't that what you kept saying over and over? You're wrong. He's not dangerous. Not like you. <laughs> what a terrible farce. <sighs> it's a shame. There was so much more fun to be had. No. Please, don't disappear. Please don't leave me. Without you, I... I... I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I really am a failure. I couldn't protect a single person I cared about. But even if I am... Um... You told me I shouldn't deny myself. But... But... How can I when this is where it got me? The person who matters most to me is dying right before my eyes! How am I supposed to hold my head up high? How am I supposed to love myself like this? I'm sorry. It's just like I thought. 
There's no way I can accept myself the way I am. There's nothing about me worth loving. I couldn't save a single person. I couldn't even keep my promise to you. Please. Don't leave me. And now we'll get another scene with Kakeru where he tells us it's another bad end. Nice work out there, Vice Prez. So how did this one pay off? Was it all worth it? Did you satisfy your ego? Your sister still died, so I wouldn't call this a happy ending either. But still... You helped a boy who was like a brother to you. You even saved his heart. That's a win in my book. You managed to save two of your pals across two different space times. You're really going for it, huh? Let's go, but it wasn't enough. I think I did I'm not satisfied last time. Yeah. Can't rest just yet, huh? Live on. Wear your ego with pride. And don't you forget your promise to me. Got it? Sloth has joined. That's a good one. Anyway. Um. That's gonna be it for this stream. I'm glad I made it through all of one story. Um. Yeah. Gonna try and get through the rest of the game very soon. Uh. Within the next couple of weeks. There's gonna be a public holiday coming up here soon. So I do plan to blitz through at least two storylines on that day. Maybe I'll do one beforehand so that we can roll straight from the uh, Nozomis into the final story on that public holiday. But yeah, until the next stream, uh, thanks to everyone that came out and see you all next time.